You're watching ABC4 News on Utah's CW30. Welcome back. Afro Utah is here today with a mission to accurately inspire and share the contributions of the black community here in Utah. And we have Jane Kwanzaa, Gifty Kabankwa, and Kofi Johnson joining us today. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. Thank you for having Thanks us. For having and us. of course, we have a large crew behind <laughs> us as well. Uh, tell us, what do we have going on? Um, the Afro Festival was actually born after 2020, after the Black Lives Matter movement. People wanted to get to know a black community in Utah, how to support. So we decided that we're going to create an event where they could come and learn. And it's all about dancing and the beauty of the culture. Afro culture is so diverse. We have Afro Latinos, Africans, African Americans, Afro Europeans, Caribbeans. It's a party. So we want people to get to know us. And yeah. It sounds like it. Uh, what's changed? I mean, I know last year was your, your first year doing that. Um, how much has it grown since then? It's grown so much. Um, a lot of publicity online, uh, a lot of people, a lot of excitement. Mm -hmm. People are very, very excited to, to come and experience Afroculture. So, yeah. And I, I know you mentioned music, and we do have a drum here yeah. today. Tell, tell us a little bit about this drum that you have. Yeah, so the djembe, the djembe is originated from Ghana. Um, it's um, actually um, a lead drum, so it's more like for like um, assembly, if there's an assembly or to the village or something like that. So this is very a very special drum. I brought it from Ghana myself, so oh, wow. it's pretty awesome. But we're going to show you guys what is going to happen. We're going to have, I'm going to be teaching that class um, uh, at, the, at the event, so it's going to be, it's going to be awesome. I'm just going to give you a little sample. Oh, of what's going to happen that day? So. That's that's so great. So you're actually going to be teaching a little bit on, on yeah. how to use that. What are what are some of the other um, educational opportunities at this event? Um, we've got an Afrobeats dance class, uh, so they're going to be teaching how people how to dance. Um, we've got a lot of uh, food. Food is such a big thing. I'm all about that too. Okay? So, I love that. <laughs> and then we've got someone talking about teaching how to do hair. Um, just. Any opportunity to learn about Afroculture, we've got so many different avenues that people can access. So, yeah. Why is it important that people check out this event? Why is it important that we have events like this in our community? We are trying to bring all the blacks, you know, together, mm -hmm. um, show our culture, just educate people, and you know, um, contribute to the community. So it's very important that people show up. We're about fun, food, mm -hmm. fashion. Just show up and have fun with us. What do you see for the future of this event moving forward? What are, what are your goals? Um, we essentially, we want people to get to a point where they understand how the black community works, like what makes it stick, what makes us excited. Because then when you get to know somebody, you love them, right? And you understand how they, they work, and it's easy to communicate with them. So we want to get to a point where it's, it comes a second nature to them. Mm -hmm. And, and the Afro Festival, we hope, grows beyond all of this, and people from outside Utah can come join us. So yeah, that's what we're hoping for. Were you surprised by how, um, how big of a welcoming you guys got your first year doing this? Yeah, because one of the questions we got was, are there black people in Utah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're here, mm -hmm. and um, <laughs> um, it, it's been amazing, the support and the reaction. This year, uh, we had a sponsor, for instance, who was a bronze sponsor last year, Doterra, mm -hmm. um, who was our platinum sponsor this year, our biggest sponsor, and they're very excited about it. The community is all involved and looking forward to it, so. Yeah, we're excited. That's wonderful. And I know we're running out of time, but I want to hear from each of you what you're most excited about for uh, for this event. So if you want to go first. Yeah, I'm excited about the food. I'm the food. All about Me the too. Food. That yeah. sounds great. <laughs> That's going to be mine, but <laughs> I like dancing, so I'm excited for that. Dancing, and I'm, I'm assuming drumming for yeah, you? Yeah, drumming and just getting everyone together. So it's going to be lit, so you don't want to miss it. So, I, yeah. I love it. It sounds it sounds like a wonderful event. Where can people find more information about this? Um, Afrouta.org. Oh, Afrouta.org. Yes. And and when is all of this going on? So it's on the 24th of September, this Saturday, from 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. All right. At the Gallivan Plaza Center. All right. Wonderful. Yes. And as you mentioned, again, we want to say that website one more time. Where can people go to get more info? It's www.afrouta.org. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us, you guys. And I'm really excited for your event. It sounds like a lot of fun. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Coming up, the latest ways to protect your email.